I've been very happy running a Bugs 3 with 10 amp ESCs with a S3 bat a 3S battery lately. Just a little bit of extra power and stability, feel more confident flying over the sea. And I suddenly remembered that quite some time ago I'd put a 4 in 1 ESC into a Bugs 3 Mini. And that 4 in 1 ESC is using more modern technology, Bell Heli 3, uh, DShot 600, and it went in without any tuning required, no better flight. So looking at a standard Bug 3, of which I've still got one, and then comparing it to the 10 amp ESCs I've put into a Bug 3, although these run fine, they're running a Simon K protocol, which is older, and they've also got great big capacitors attached to it. So I'm thinking with newer technology, I should be able to find um, smaller ESCs, standalone ESCs that I can use in a Bugs 3. So looking at this one that I want to do a conversion and looking around and I was delighted to find that yes, such a beast exists. So what I have here are these things which are actually 20 amp even though they're smaller than the original Bugs 3 and uh, they've been great. So the next bit is testing with 2S and then 3S. So this is the 2S testing, uh, it was a calm day and uh, yeah no problems once again uh, no configuration whatsoever I just chopped off the, uh, the leads for a remote configuration and just popped it in with the standard settings because again I'd, heard, I'd actually heard other people say they'd done that with other quadcopters uh, so very happy with how that went nice and smooth so fine day so uh, not too much of this just 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 went up and down a few times just to make sure that uh, nothing untoward with a new new piece of hardware on it um, as I say very happy with it so you've got to wonder what the point of a lot of tuning that people are doing with uh, some of these ESCs if the standard settings are fairly good but of course I'm not I'm not a racer I'm not used looking for top the line performance but say they, they come fine with out of the box as far as I'm concerned So this is the test with uh, S3 batteries the following day. Unfortunately it was fairly windy by then, 20-30 kilometers an hour gusting. Um, so initially I was disappointed but then I realized how, steadil how steadily I could hold the thing even with a bit of breeze and was quite happy. So this is, I won't share the whole flight, just, just highlights. I mean to show when I want to hold the thing stable I could. So, so far I think it's a success. So I'm looking forward to getting out and about and flying more with it. So that's about it for me, so happy flying, I'll leave you with it.